Guys, T Fit here with Fit Bully TV. We're gonna get to it. Listen, guys, I appreciate everybody who subscribed. We're about to hit a good number subscription wise. It's funny because I used to hate when people said, Man, I got all these followers. I'm like, These people ain't following me nowhere. But I had a good conversation and I've had great conversations with those people who have followed, listened, and learned. So, I told you I hate French Bulldogs. Respectfully. <laughs> I know what they do for people, I know the power of them, I know that people enjoy them. I know that they're not bad dogs. I just don't like them. My dumb behind got into the Frenchie in support of a friend, and he gave me a free Frenchie. That's the truth. Like he gave me a free Frenchie. Like, hey man, do a little. Let's go on. I ain't got the time. Time for the dog thing. I know this is what you're doing. Here's a free Frenchie. Well, I gave it to somebody else. Then I didn't want to be. We'll just say pigeonholed with a person's idea. And he's not that kind, to be clear. But I always, I don't like getting boxed in. box out. So then I bought one. $11,000 Frenchie. Dumb, dumb, and dumber. So what we're about to do with you is, is walk you through the road to getting her litter done. The road to Chris and I uh, with our co-own. Everybody getting their money. And, and the dog being healthy. Now in this video, you'll see the doctor, she tells you about uh, the dog and, and her health. And you know, French Bulldogs are often bred a few different ways, closer to the Boston Terrier side or closer to the Bulldog. In my opinion, your Bulldog's gonna have more health problems than the Boston Terrier. This one, a little bit more influence of, of the Terrier side which is why she's probably a little bit more driven, can jump a little bit, does a little ratting. She'll find a rat and go chase a bird and kill it. <laughs> and she's, as you hear the doctor, she's got a good heart, no luck saying patellas. She's good. So when I did decide, you know what, I'm gonna get into this Frenchy thing. I gotta find one that's healthy. I don't care about all the colors and the heads and all that perfect structure stuff and let me be very clear there's there's not that many people who do nowadays anyway outside of the people who love the integrity of the Frenchie for me when doing it I want to make sure that I put good healthy Frenchies in some people's homes because unfortunately there are people who own $80,000 Frenchies they can never breed because the Frenchie's sick as two dogs and uh, wife won't let them get rid of it and the dog just keep having more problem, more problem, and another problem, and another problem. So they're literally expensive dogs. And that's not even the upfront cost, which could be five to, to $100,000, depending on who you're talking to. But I said to myself, we're going to sell Frenchies at a fair price. We're going to make sure that people don't have to spend their life saving to keep this dog alive. And I want them to be able to walk around a block or a mile. Hmm? That's the Frenchie that I have. That's the other Frenchie that we're using, the boy. They both are pretty healthy Frenchies that can do some things. They'll get on that flirt pole, they'll chase some, some balls, they'll do a little, they have a good time. That to me feels like a dog. And again, no disrespect to other people than they Frenchies. I already don't like a dog that can't do nothing. Dumb of me to support and be a part of this, this madness. But at the same time, there are a lot of people who come out the woodworks and even people who knew me as they knew I was about to grow, who was like, yo, I want to give you this. I'll give you this dog. Put this dog, not on the map, but just bring light to it. And that's always been my goal is to teach or shed light, shine light, turn people into lights. So, Asha, uh, if we're talking color, she's your hero. She has no AT. AT means she's not dry. The most important component of her is that she's a healthy dog. Macho, he's a try. Uh, Lilac and Tan, I believe. I'm saying I believe. I, I whelped this whole litter. I chose him with, with Rich. <laughs> I literally whelped. That Joker's litter, like, from start to finish was right there. <laughs> Lived with the whole, stayed at the homie's crib with Ego uh, to make sure that these puppies were good. And, and my friend Rich, he trusted me with that. So, <laughs> Macho's a good dog. Uh, great parents. I like them both. Healthier than the average Frenchies. And that means they can walk a mile or two. Literally, sometimes once, even three miles. He's pushed them to three miles. He's a joker. Them jokers almost died that day, Trev, but they still did three miles before. That's important to me. So, with the litter that we have coming up, with the education that's going to come out, goal is to, you know, 
sell pet home. Pet home option will still be about 3K. Not gonna hit everybody over the head. First pick female, six. We'll talk about first pick boy, five or so. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. And we'll talk some more, but guys, stay tuned because the Frenchie stuff, it makes me sick. But at the same time, Asha helped a friend or a woman that I know who's who's in need of, of uh, another dog and she's dealing with a dog that has cancer right now. And her friend, she's lived to about 11 and he's, he struggled, he struggled. So I know she's given her hope and, and just something to do and kept her spirits, spirits up to say the least. And uh, Macho was an epiphany for the, the other young lady who owns him and, and keeps seeing that, oh, I like the small dog thing. And you know, the beauty about all of this is, it's just like me getting the general. I've never liked small dogs, but I like this dog. And when I was doing my research, she said, I like the dogs that can do what I want to do. And these are, these are some healthy French Bulldogs. I wouldn't encourage you, if I'm being honest, to, to, to buy them if you are interested for the purposes of breeding a bunch of Frenchies. But if you want a good small dog that's going to be healthy and, and you know, we're going to do our best, then uh, reach out. You can hit me up on Instagram. I will respond to that because we don't have a waiting list for for the Frenchies. Might create one. Yeah, and Jamarcus might create one, but it's the first and last breeding. It's the just like this the for for Frenchies. The, the when this is done, oh, we're done. There are no more Frenchie breedings. Not for me at least. Doesn't mean I won't help the people who need help if they need help, but for the most part that ain't for me. It's not for me, people. The general, he'll never be bred. He's just gonna be my guy. Little guy that hangs out with me and, and uh, with the big dogs and we're going to go do some general things. And, and when I say general, like put that soldier to work <laughs> and, uh, and and just keep learning. So in this, talk about the progesterone test. Her, her test showed up at 1.5. Um, she goes in this Saturday. Uh, we'll see what her test shows up uh, again. Every time the dog's numbers double, once we get to 10 and 12, TCI. Or AI, TCI is $300. They say, oh, you don't want to do a TCI? I'm like, of course you ask asking about the TCI. It's $300. But we'll, we'll teach you as much as we can. Ruben and I will do some videos. So stay tuned. Take care of dogs. Shout out to all these Frenchies lovers. Remember to message us if you are interested in getting one of these pups. But we got to make sure that they even come to life. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. And what is it that you're examining when it comes to the Frenchie? I know what you're doing with the book. Yeah, mostly it's <laughs> we just want to make sure they're healthy before we start recommending or helping with breeding. How do you determine breeding. if a Frenchie's healthy or not? They can't even breathe. <laughs> well, at least if they don't have a heart murmur, we're okay. Um, but she I heard it's pretty difficult good. to determine because of how bad their breathing is at times. It can. That's why sometimes I'll close their mouth or I'll plug their nose. I'll make them stop breathing for a little bit. I've, so. I put a lot of people on to coming Same. up here, man. It's Same. the best doctor here. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's the true story. Stay. 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 Nice little heart rate. He's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll take your admin, look at your plumbing, you're good to go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know, it's uncomfortable. Okay. Perfect. So physical exam, why she looks great. She's uh, got a good weight for carrying a litter for you. Her knees palpate good, which is not very common for a friend. She shouldn't have patellaluxation. Heart and lungs sound good. Um, she doesn't have stenotic nares, we're not super stenotic nares. Um, ears, eyes, mouth, all nice, clean and clear. Coat looks amazing. So realistically, she's ready. We'll call you with the progesterone results and kind of go from there on the next steps. And uh, we'll let you know when it's time to bring the stud in. Perfect, thank you so much. Are we doing fresh chilled? No, we, we use a fresh stud, so macho. Oh, okay, you sounds macho good. Macho before you, we'll, we'll use macho. That's, that was the okay. original plan. <laughs> and we're gonna stick to it, so I will see you guys.